By definition, extreme value theorem states that if a function f of x is continuous on closed interval a, b, then f of x has both maximum and minimum value on interval a, b. Now, this is the graphical display of this extreme value th theorem, and it shows you the absolute or where the absolute maximum and absolute minimum is, and where the local max and the local minimum of a given function. Now, if you'll notice in this function, this is a function in a closed interval a and b, and you will see that we have our absolute maximum and absolute minimum, given that these are the uh, maximum and minimum point of the given function. So this peak right here will be your absolute max, and this peak right here, which is your low, lowest peak, will be your absolute minimum. And this two um, curvature right here will be your local max, and this will be your local minimum, and this will be the endpoints based on your given interval. And this is how you represent the uh, function on a given interval where you will see their extremas, both absolute, uh, um, absolute max and minimum, and local max and local minimum. Now, how do you solve for the absolute extreme of a given function? There are three steps that we need to um, remember on finding the extrema or absolute extrema of a given function. So for this problem, we have f of x equals to 3x squared minus 12x plus 5 on a closed interval 1, 4. The first step is to find the critical numbers. Now, what is a critical number? A critical number is basically solving for the first derivative and setting it to 0 to solve for x. So my function f of x is 3x squared minus 12x plus 5. Therefore, my f prime of x, which is my first derivative, will be 6x minus 12. And this is where you will find your critical number. Set 6x minus 12 to 0 and solve for x, and x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 is the critical number in our function. Now, second step will be finding the value of y based on your given interval and your critical number. So we have three um, separate uh, functions right here that we need to evaluate all from the given function f of x. So we'll find the value of y by finding f of 1, f of 4, and f of 3. And using the function, we have f of 1 equals negative 4, and f of 4 equals 5, and f of 3 equals to negative 7. Now the third step is where you will compare all your y values to check which one will be your maximum and your minimum point. And based on our computation for step number 2, we found out that f of 4, which is 5, and f of 3, which is negative 7, will be our maximum and our minimum, respectively. Now for the second example, we have another function. We have a polynomial of 3x to the 4th minus 4x cubed on a given interval, negative 1, 2. We will find the um, extrema of this function using the three steps that we did on our, on our previous slide. So the first step is to find the first derivative, so you will find your critical number. So f prime of x is 12x cubed minus 12x squared. With this, we'll set it to 0 to find the values of your critical number, which is 12x squared and x minus 1 equal to 0 using factoring method. And using the zero product property, we produced x is equal to 0 and x equal to 1 as our critical numbers from our given function. Now for the second step, we're going to find each value of y from your given interval and from your critical number. So you have f of negative 1, f of 2, f of 0, and f of 1. And finding those values using your f of x, f of negative 1 is 7, f of 2 is equal to 16, f of 0 is 0, and f of 1 is equal to negative 1. Now for the third step, we are going to compare each values of y to check wh where the maximum and the minimum value will be. So in this case, from f negative 1, which is 7, f of 2, which is 16, f of 0, which is 0, and f of 1, which is negative 1, we found out that f of 2 is our maximum, and f of 1 is our minimum. And these, these are the procedure and how you find your extrema or absolute extrema on a given function.